My name is Michael Krowitz, and I am uh, Executive Director of Veterans for Medical Cannabis Access. I am a medical cannabis patient. Um, I didn't know it at first. I became injured in uh, the Air Force while I was on, on my way home from dinner, actually, on coral-packed roads with poor lighting in Guam. Uh, it was my last Friday night on Guam, getting ready to uh, move my station back to the United States, and I had a big trip planned uh, where I was going to travel around uh, Asia and then get back to the United States. And uh, as a celebratory dinner, just as a little thing, my buddy let me drive his brand new motorcycle home from dinner. And because I was on his brand new motorcycle, I was taking it easy in the right-hand lane. And that just uh, incidentally happened to be a lane that ended with no warning and no signs, no lights. And uh, I just got broken up pretty bad. I, I lost my spleen. I broke, fractured my left arm. I broke my hip and I just smashed my lower leg. And then I had about 13 surgeries in all inside the Air Force and out in the VA to put me all back together. And all of a sudden I was a disabled vet. And it's not like I, you know, back then there wasn't even the words medical marijuana. This is all in the 1980s. My accident happened in 19, I think it was 84. So you're talking about a you know, very long time ago, before this medical marijuana movement that we now know of really was started or existed. Uh, it started, but it didn't really exist like we know it now. And I basically went through every treatment that they had at the VA, uh, which is a whole lot of treatments. I mean, probably 30 treatments in all, not including varieties of the same treatment, like 10 different NSAIDs or things like that that they tried me on. So there's drug treatments, dozens of them, and then the non-drug treatments, you know, the uh, kinesiotherapy and the aquatherapy and the uh, ultrasound therapies and all these different things to try to remove pain and deal with these issues over time. And but process of elimination just basically found very few that would work. Uh, winding up using opiates, but cyclically, because I've got internal injury, I really can't tolerate it. So I wound up you know, using it a little bit when I absolutely needed to, and then having to deal with the fallout of that. I was now disabled, defunct. Why not pick up a marijuana cigarette, right? So it really was kind of a genesis of realizing that this marijuana that I was using was actually making me feel better. I mean, it's, you use it and you stop using it and you, wait a minute, I, I, I now am suffering a lot more and you use it and you're not, you know, it doesn't take you long, process of elimination to figure out it's actually working. You don't, have, you don't need someone to tell you that cannabis is medicine. You can figure it out on your own when you're suffering and you just use it for a while and then you don't use it. And when you, in the drug war, that's a regular occurrence. I mean, it's only available when it's available. Uh, and in the black market world, uh, without a dispensary that you can reliably get medicine from, that's the world that we lived in, you know. Uh, cannabis has been, it's, it's, it's difficult to describe life with or without, because there is no life without, it. you know, you die. You, you know, pain isn't the kind of thing like post-traumatic stress that'll just kill you so suddenly as killing yourself or killing others and getting killed by the cops or some of these terrible scenarios. Uh, it's like uh, water torture. And you, you just don't go that far before you're done, you know? And uh, I have family in Virginia and it's tough to have to go through this roller coaster ride of pain. You can't function. And then you have cannabis, you can function, but what can you get done in, in that short period of time? It's like this geometric puzzle of life that you just can't solve. And uh, life is hard enough for a veteran without having to deal with that. So I thank cannabis uh, for, for giving me a lot of my life. It, it's uh, something that doesn't just improve pain and doesn't just help me with eating and, and sleeping. It, you know, it, it just is a, it lifts the misery away. And, and it just really helps in a way that other drugs don't seem to touch. Um, and uh, it's a pain reliever together with opiates. Again, no, there's nothing else. I've been through all these other treatments that are available. And there's nothing that, that, that works like it. So 